Lee. Told you I would uh, do a bit of filming if there's something interesting to talk about. As you can see, I'm sitting in the passenger chair and uh, I've broke down. <laughs> My truck has popped. Water's pissed everywhere. Temperature gauge has hit the fucking hilt and it's steaming like a bastard. And we can see that at all, so look. Da, da, da. Steam, can you see the steam? Let's see if you can see it. I've got the bonnet up, as you can tell. It's, uh, it's steaming. Not good, as I say, not fucking good. So I'm sitting here waiting for somebody to come and uh, fix me or say, your truck's fucked, it needs to be recovered. Which is probably more than likely because these CF fucking dafts are bollocks to know they are fucking had enough. So I just thought I'd uh, <coughs> give you the the update of the day and uh, share this pleasant moment with you. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. Toodles, bye. <coughs> we are on the motorway. Because we broke down. So I'm gonna do a bit of a thing. You probably won't be able to hear me because of all the wind and the Don't wanna be uh, taking the piece too much. It's a bit dangerous here. I just figured that <coughs> I didn't really want to do any recording to be honest with you because of it being on the mouth well all this is a bit fucking dangerous really but never mind. I got my monopod, I'm on the M6. I got the monopod on my camera so I can hold it properly so I don't have to drop the bloody thing. M6 southbound. Wrecker 20. My truck is broke. The night out tonight, then, is it? No, not for me, no. I'm only a day, man, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. And how do daft things like that? They don't pay enough, our lockdowns. Two minutes worth so far. Yeah, we've got off already. That's good. Well, we've got to take the uh, the half shaft out so we can tow it. That's going to be fun for you. This is all good fun, this is, isn't it? He's <laughs> like, mate. He's uh, got the front end up in the air now. So you're going to uh, we're gonna change it. It's, it's not a simple little task of picking one of these, obviously. It has to be rigged, chained, bracketed, bolted, stripped down. So just, just to be told. Is it not happening? I love my 
some monopods. It's fucking ice more monopodies, you know. Get some right fucking cracking shots. Yes, I'm not like a dick standing here talking to myself, holding a camera, but hey, whatever. I don't care. That's something to do with it. A little noisy out here, mind you. It's going to be terrible, the sound. The sound of this is going to be awful. We're going to mind the arts. Anyway, I'm going to go now to looking too stupid for words. Bye! Time will tell, as they say. Ding, 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 ding. Mission Impossible, ain't this, isn't it? I bet you never had a fucking weirdo like me fucking taking videos and shit on the camera, eh? Worse than you, mate. I'd look dressed up for better one, mate. Truck it. Beard, everything. Beard, everything. Honestly, beard, everything. Skin on everything. Fucking big burly bloke, white. Fucking everything. Beard, big purple dyed beard, yeah. Sounds like a proper cross-dresser, isn't it? Ding, ding. Bit more... It's, it's, it's me brother, this is right. My brother, he, he, he loves me doing all these things. He's, he's, he's younger than me, but he, he's always... When you put another video on? When you put another video on? What's he do? He's uh, studying in university to be a drama teacher. Right, so he doesn't get out of the like you, then? No, no, no. He certainly don't. But he does like the videos, though. Yeah. Don't you? You're paying the fucking arse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you reckon this is going to be? Is it going to be a complete fuck-up? Down here? It's a car under a wagon. Yeah, my mate was just gone past it. He says the uh, BMW has made its way underneath the wheels of the fucking... It's an Audi. It's an Audi yeah, one. Yeah, it's meeting with the back of the trailer, but the, the trailer belongs to the Carl Bottle Group, who are a company company as well. Oh, that's cool. That always helps. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, he has definitely got underneath him. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a jag. Oh, there's the outlet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this is gonna be like. Oops. We're on our way. Yay! We've got to get up here now, <laughs> 45 minutes, chunking down there, we've got to get off the fucking motorway now. Hello. Oh right. Come on. Just something I rather I'm gonna point out to you. Um Drivers uh, Drivers hours. Diamond specific, uh, specifically. Diamond. Um apparently, according to uh, my mate, there is a petition. Oh man, what a pet hate that is. Um, yeah, there's this um, petition on the internet for the uh, government internet thing, or it's some sort of .gov or whatever. And um, the petition is is to change the uh, law or make people aware of uh, the situation with day men of drivers. And um, me being a day man, I thought that's quite interesting. I fucking every time I my um, get home, I keep completely forget to fucking go on and, and sign the petition. So hopefully doing this, <coughs> when I review this thing, it'll you know, remind me. But um, the reason why I'm talking about it is because it's a, it's a very important point to make. Um, as a day man, when you drive for a company, that means you're at home, you get up at a specific time in the morning, get yourself ready, off you go to work, park your car up, or get dropped off by your missus, depending on what you do, uh, or coming by a bus, you know, whatever, whichever way you make your way to work, you know. I'll make it generic so, you know, it covers them all, push biking. <coughs> um, and you get your stuff ready in the cab, you get yourself sorted out, you check your vehicle over and blah blah blah, all the usual. Then you go off and do your day. And as our crew, as of late, 
we end up doing fucking ridiculous hours. I mean, so far I've done fucking nothing but 13 and 14 hours this week. It fucks me off. But what that entails is the fact that you lose a lot of rest in that respect. Because if I say, for instance, like today, and most of the days this week, start at 4 o'clock in the morning, apart from the day I, I say, I just couldn't be asked, too, too, too tired. Right? But uh, the majority of this week has been the 4 o'clock starts. Now that means I have to get up, because I only live down the road, thankfully. Um, 20 past 3 in the morning, so I've got time to brush my teeth, right, look at me ugly mug in the front of the mirror, and uh, have some breakfast, take a dump, get myself dressed and ready to go, right? And then it takes about 10 minutes for me to drive to work. And <coughs> then I come in, do what I'm doing, do this, and off I go on my day. And then when I've finished my day, you put the truck away, like park the trailer up, you park up, fuel up, all that sort of shit, you know, get your paperwork sorted out, and then you're on your way back home again. And um, me personally, because I've got things that I like to do when I get home, I don't have a family like for me, of my own, um, I've got no kids or the missus. So I haven't got that responsibility, and I do a lot of uh, this video stuff. So it's not as simple as just uploading what I've done. Here. I have to go through it, trim it, trim the fat, if you like. And it takes a while. Go through a few of my things, my uh, comments, and what have you, and get into some really good debates. <coughs> and. Um, do a few things for myself, like watch a bit of telly if I like, and what I've done, and have something to eat and share off, all that kind of crap, and it takes time. And if you're not finishing till around about five, six o'clock at night, you haven't got a lot of time to actually do all this. So you're stealing time from your sleep. Now, I actually phoned Rose up and asked the question about the nine hour off from base. Because I was always under the impression when I first took my test and was learning to drive these things um, that they showed you a video of a bloke who was basically doing ridiculous hours and uh, driving a truck in the post. I was very disappointed with him and very annoyed and he got fined. But it seems like now they don't give a shit. And he told me that it doesn't matter what you do with your time. And even when I try to point out that, hang on, nine hours from the base, you're still, you know, not resting until, well, until you've sorted yourself out. And I'm an exception to the point that I haven't got a family, but there's many people out there who drive lorries, who are day people, have got families, and you can't just go home, eat and go to bed, because <laughs> then you might as well be a fucking tramper, aren't you, really? Um, the point is, is that you're not getting your full rest as a gamer. You certainly aren't. Not unless you've got a decent company you work for, obviously. But I can mean, probably safely say that the majority of the gamer drivers out there get yeah, the sore end of the stick. You know what I mean? And uh, there is a, part, um, a petition to sign on the internet. It's something to do with the government or something like that. I will put a link down below, as they say. So you can uh, click on that, and if you are in agreement with this uh, reducing the uh, day men down to 12 hours maximum of work, that includes your driving, <coughs> which would be a lot more sensible. That would definitely make sure that you have your minimum of 11 hours off for rest to give you time to get home, get someone to eat, kiss the missus, play with the kids, kick the cat around the house a bit, like, you know what I mean, or, or throw a stick for the dog, you know what I mean, all them kind of things, it's there for you to have enough time to do that and get a reasonable amount of sleep in. Because um, all this week, my maximum sleep I have had so far 
has been four hours forty-five maybe. About that. That's my maximum. <coughs> and um, the least I've had so far was three hours. Maybe a little bit less. So and that's pr uh, primarily because of having to do things when I get home. Right? I'm a day man because I want a fucking life. Right? And I like my creature comforts, like pretty much most people do. And um, champion for, uh, is not something for me. I can't do it. So, once again, the link will be down there somewhere. I will find it out and I'll put it up. So, if you agree to uh, this 12 hour job, then I suggest that you uh, you do it and sign it and get it done. Because it will help a lot of drivers out there, it really will. And uh, it stops the abuse of drivers via their companies and thinking that they're just robots and as soon as they go out the gate, that's the end of it, they forget. <coughs> they don't uh, take into consideration getting home, um, what they've got to do at home, then all the rest of the usual crap which you probably go for yourself if you're a day man. Uh, anyway, that's it. So I can think of that one, that subject. So there you go. Please uh, feel free to uh, sign it. Get as many people on that uh, petition as we possibly can because I know fact I'm with it. I really do think that's the best idea I've ever heard of. <laughs> I've always wanted that. I'm sick to death of having only nine hours off from base because you don't have actually nine hours rest. If you're a tramp back, you can because the bunk's behind you. You park up in the services somewhere got an hour to uh, maybe have yourself something to eat if you fancy it, wash, and then you can jump on the boat and have a full fucking eight hour sleep. Because realistically there ain't much else to do is unless you like to sit there watching fucking telly or not to you in your cab, but you know, you haven't got it because you've got no other priorities, it's just basically you can jump on the boat and go, and there you are. Uh, working from the base, you can't. Campers, how are you doing today? 20 to 5 actually. I'm just um, hang on, let me just have a play. I feel like it's one sided for some reason, I can't get it right. That'll do. Nailed. Right. Mr. Truck Diaries. Um, I asked the uh, the font of all knowledge about this uh, the age of driving changing to um, from uh, 21 to 18 changing from 21 to 18 and uh, as I asked the question <coughs> he actually says 18 before I even finished the fucking the question I was going to ask him and I just says really he says yep yeah. As from September of last year, they brought it down and they can do a full access course, uh, which will then entitle them to drive a HGV Class 1. I went, seriously? Yep. Unfortunately, now I know for a fact that <laughs> the, uh, the font of all knowledge about truck driving, uh, because he's gone through several different tests and what have you to do with lorries, and... Um, He's pretty much a, a reasonable authority on the subject. So when he told me, yeah, 18, I went, fuck. Like I said before, it's no offence to any 18 year olds, but I would prefer that people who get into these vehicles have um, a moderate amount of experience. Right? Now that's my opinion. Right? If you're doing okay and you're obviously 20 years of age now, like you said you was, and uh, you're happily driving around and handling quite well. Good on you, well done. But what I'm saying is, you're an exception, right? I don't think I'd like to trust every fucking 18 year old in one of these things, not without an moderate amount of experience. In saying that then, there you go. <coughs> Happy days. 
So it is 18 years of age. Fuck me, we are. I'm seriously fucking scared now. I'll be like this. Wondering who the fuck's driving a truck. Oh well, never mind. Well, I am off to uh, Grimsby today. Grimsby of all places. It's Grim up north. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going. Thankfully, it's just block or so. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm not sure if at one point or another I've actually been to this place. I may get, yes, I have. Only problem is though, might not be able to find it straight away, so I'll have to put my fucking twat nav on. Hmm. Just the name seems familiar. <laughs> right. Let's put some of the bits and pieces on. Don't worry. <laughs> As always, I cut this boring crap out. Lovely job. Lovely job. <laughs> if you happy lot out there have um, seen my video of yesterday, uh, I put two up. I put the, the morning bit that this is what I'm doing. I put that up first and then I put the other one up after it. And. Uh, <laughs> Oh dear dear, these CF dafts that we've got, they are fucking bollocks, they are, absolutely. So, it's almost lasted the day though, almost, and then it just fucking give up. He went, that's it, I've had enough, and it decided to die, but never mind. Grab me, grab me thing. Um, <laughs> Water pump seized. That's what happened to it yesterday. The fucking thing died on me. Yeah, fucking round. And I am going to go and put this in the box. So I'll go back in a bit. As you do. <sighs> okay. Let's go find the trailer. Okie dokie. Okie pokey, mokey jokey. Good. Okay, when I've done that, I'm going to set my twat level. Put some lights on. Let's have some winky daters on. And I want, I think, 641. Yeah, 641. It's amazing now. Every day you come to work, it tends to be almost the same, isn't it? Really? It's like slight variation, but it's pretty much fucking identical. Every day, let's go do this, let's go. <sighs> At least the destination is different, though. I must be good because <coughs> people are driving trucks and hooking up to trailers and all that sort of shit, they still somehow fucking miss the pin. I mean, how? Please answer that question for me. So, how do people miss the fucking pin? Now that that's done, we can go. Well, we can go in a second. Let's turn you off. We don't need them on no more. <coughs> Let's hope we don't fucking break down. I mean, we probably won't, but uh, you never know. <laughs> I've got a vague recollection, but I ain't 100% sure. Okay. Hmm. Stay around five. I'll tell you, it sounds so familiar. Hang on. It's telling me state stay number number. F <laughs> words. Get them fucking right. 
Satnav saying estate road number five, whereas the paperwork says estate road number six. Hmm, interesting. <coughs> Let's have a look at the map and see if. Ah, there we are. They're basically next to each other anyway, so. That's fine by me. Well, obviously, they're going to be fucking next to each other, aren't they? Stupid fucking personage. Oh, God. Ignore me. Turn out this. Fuck off. Stupid thing. Right. Reroute. Take that out of the persuasion. Do that. Do that. Do that. Now, hopefully, somewhere down the fucking road, this thing will turn on. Looks like we are on our way, finally. Yay! <clears throat> As the crowd goes wild. Oh, and guess what? It's Friday! It's Friday! It's wonderful, wonderful, happy, happy Friday! Just sort of put that in there for you. Turn that sheet off. Right. Uh, just a thought. Are we moving? Are we going? Are we on our way? Where the fuck are your lights, dipshit? No lights whatsoever. Fucking black clothes. What a fucking toned. Absolutely fucking pathetic. This is the reason why I fucking hate cyclists. Because they're idiots. Fucking morons. Get on the fucking path where it's safe, you fucking prick. I mean, come on. He might, as well, he might as well have on, the, on his back fucking kill me, I'm stupid. Fucking idiot. What an absolute fucking prick. Absolute fucking prick. Anyway, I'm fucking sidetracking here. Me personally, this is going to be like a bit of a see how many, how touchy this subject can be <laughs> amongst people out there. It's entirely up to you. Uh, you either like it or you don't like it, but. Remember, right, it is only my opinion, my state of feeling towards the subject, right? <clears throat> I'm not going to be out there stating that certain religions are this and that and the other because, i be honest with you, I know literally fuck all about religion, right? I know how I feel about it and what I really wish would happen, but um, other than that, I can only go on my own personal experience towards religion. And I'll have to start at the beginning, I think, really. A couple of uh, hinters for you. School. Yes, school. Um, back in the 70s, when I was just a, a wee sproggit. Started school and you have an assembly in the morning. Um, now I'm trying to remember which way it goes, right? It might have been um, hymns, we used to sing hymns first to be about, I think we used to do two. <coughs> um, 
I'm thinking, but I might not be correct here because I would say so. I'm fucking 43 this year. It's been a long time. Um, I think it was a him first, then announcements and shit like that, and then it was a him at the end of it. And when you're a baby and you're like fucking five years old, you don't really know no different, right? There's nobody there to give you any. But this is the choice you've got now. This is what you're going to fucking learn, and that's the end of it. You know what I mean? As you do when you're a kid. So you go through most of your school life. Well, I did up until the uh, the high school. That is um, having certain religious things taught to you, but with no real explanation. And when there ain't no explanation about how, why, what, for, or when, they just blindly give you this reason and that's the end of it. <coughs> so, you go through school life, I did anyway, and you don't know no different. So, up until the middle school, it's fine. You never really thought anything of it. Um, then when we moved into the high school, the last few years of the school life, like for me anyway, it just come to the point where it was boring, mainly. And we had to have uh, religious studies. Right? There was a, um, a class we had called religious studies, believe it or not. And I think me and the teacher tended to have a bit of a, I don't know, a disagreement, would you say? <laughs> I remember I'd, I'd ask questions and um, she wasn't impressed. But it just dawned on me through all of that, realistically, it never made any sense to me. It never ever clicked. It never, nothing said to me that this is right, everything else is wrong. I'm thinking, now we makes no fucking sense to me. None whatsoever. Anyway. So, there we are. We're up in the high school now. And yeah, your neurons are getting a little bit more wiser. <clears throat> and for me to have that kind of an epiphany, if you like, that kind of a thought, that idea, raced around my head, was quite unusual. And I just thought, well, this makes no sense to me. How can one man fucking build a boat that's supposed to do that? How does that work? And if, like they're saying, Mary was supposed to be a, a virgin, how the fuck does that work? I've just had sex education. <laughs> and we've had them cartoon fucking images of a penis and a, and a vagina playing with each other. You know what I mean? It's like, hang on, mate. If that's how kids are made, how the fuck did she have one? And don't tell me it was fucking one of those fucking Madonna's Immaculate Collection, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's just bollocks. I mean, <laughs> the human anatomy doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. So, anyway, so here we are. We're in high school. I can't be arsed with this anymore. It just makes no sense at all. And when I realised that it makes no sense, I thought, well, it's an house then, just ignore it. And it wasn't until our last year of the high school we were preparing to obviously take exams and, in my case, from people exams and fail them all and whatever. Um, it was like a collective, we don't give a shit. The one, the one morning it was, if we could have just had a camera or, you know, on the wall somewhere and <coughs> recorded all of that day, that morning, to say. It was incredible. You'd have that kid at the doorway with his fucking stack of inbooks in his hand and everybody would take one and then throw it up the fucking corner next to him. <laughs> and all half of them didn't even bother to pick one up. And I'll tell you, uh, it was the most amazing morning ever. Really was. This is it. How it played out. So we're all falling in. Then I was in the corner, came in books. With none of them, hardly anybody taking any. Most of them chucked back up the fucking up the corner. And we all sat down in the uh, in the theatre. 
and uh, Miss Moffitt on a piano. Yes, that's where her name was actually. Yeah. There she was, ding 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 ding. You know they play that first intro into, into an England, it's always played by a piano reed. You have this pianist there, you can play that and you stick to it. So of course she does that, does the intro bit, and then off she goes and right. And it was brilliant. So then she started again thinking that uh, maybe we missed the intro, like, you know, so she's obviously ding 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 ding. And again, nobody opened the gob, and she, you could see the colour in her face was starting to get redder and redder. Oh man, it was hilarious. But we just stuck to our guns because once it had been, it was like a collective, we decided once the first time, by accident, we never started singing. We all come to the conclusion, like that, we don't want this shit. We're 15 years of age, and this is just fucking pointless. We ain't interested in it. Anyway, it didn't end there. <laughs> so, of course, the teachers are getting kind of frustrated. We're supposed to sing these fucking hymns. No. What the fuck for? If you don't sing, you'll all be back in detention. Fair enough. <laughs> so nobody sang, and <laughs> we was all back in detention. And we sat there, and we just basically told them, what is the point? We're not interested in it. It's a waste of fucking time. And after that day, we never sang a hymn again after that. <laughs> it was great, honestly. It was fucking awesome. Rebelled against the fucking man, if you like. It was brilliant. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, putting that aside, always wondering about religion. Me in particular, doing I don't believe. And then, uh, I've only been recently, and I would say recently, it's only been like the last, I don't know, six months, maybe, maybe a little bit longer, that I actually found an atheist site. Uh, I found uh, atheists on YouTube. Now, you might find this ridiculous, or you might find this, oh, that's interesting. You make it own if I mind up in that minute. This is all entirely fucking freedom of speech, I think. It's my opinion, and I mean, that, that, that's the way it goes, I see. Um, I've seen it, and I thought, do you know what? This is cool. So I'm watching, and I'm watching, and I'm listening, and it, honestly, it was like, even though I never really thought about it, realistically delved deep into it, about religion, I just couldn't be arsed with it. I didn't think that it went any further than that, really. And then all of a sudden, this atheist situation arose, and I'm sitting there watching the YouTube, reading different articles on the site, and it's like, a pressure lifted off my shell and I, I can't explain how it felt, it was just like as though, oh my god, does this really work? And I mean, as you heard, oh my god, the reason why I use that term is because it's been programmed into my head through the fucking years of everybody else saying it, so it's again, oh fuck me, it's like, oh Jesus Christ. But I don't believe in it, it's just, in my opinion, it's a fucking expression of, well, I'm fucked off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, Christ. Oh, hell. Oh, bollocks. It's all to do with religion, but you don't have to believe in it to say the words, you know what I mean? No, no, it's a statement at the end of the day. So, there I am, watching YouTube again, as I'm saying, I'm repeating myself now, I do apologise. Then, um, of course, I'm feeling a lightness, this weight of feeling not alone in this. And it was basically something creeping up behind you. And then, I can't explain how it even felt. It was brilliant, it really was. I felt so, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I really did, honestly, like, wow. 
what the fuck? Where did all this come from? How, when, how long has this been going on for? So then obviously you go a bit further into it and you're like, fuck, this is forever. <clears throat> and listening to all the stuff that they were saying and all the stories that they come up with and the, the reasons why and the fact that the people who are um, into all this, uh, well, say into it, it's not into it, is it? That's the, the, the thing about atheism, they're not into it, it? <laughs> they just don't believe. But they challenge, uh, they namely challenge Christians into um, trying to prove to the atheist why God exists and all that sort of thing. And they fail. They fucking fail. Fail miserably. And all the questions I've all had in my head have finally were given light, if you like, about um, the stories of this Adam and Eve load of bollocks. Uh, eating the forbidden fruit, rubbish. Um, building a fucking boat to house every single animal in the, in, the, in the planet, even though the boat sits in one part of the world and there's several different continents separated by oceans. What do you do? Fucking boats around everywhere and picking more of us, he does a lot. I know, I can't, I can't. See, I realise that for me, logic overruled anything that, the, that any kind of deity or mystical fucking being or whatever tried to say that happened because it's never been updated. It's just been left. We have lots of people who have gone through all the scientists that is by the way, have gone through the ten plagues and explained every single one of them and how they work and what caused them. Now, you've got to remember, back then, when this shit was happening, because they had no idea why, because they didn't have the information, oh god, it's us, blah blah blah, well, you know, if you want to go down that path, you're quite happy to go down that path. I don't really care, because science prevails, and it gives you the answer, right? And that's been on YouTube, video. Science programs have showed you all the crap that goes up against the fact that religion is a great story, but it's not fact. Brilliant story, not fact. That's my opinion. And after having this weight lifted off my shoulders, thinking that I'm not on my own in this belief, then you, you clock back then through your life and you go, do you know what, I've always felt this way, but it makes no sense to me. And I think if I remember rightly, Cara Santa Maria from the Huffington Post, she, she made a statement uh, on one of her YouTube channel things that she does, um, that she felt like it made no sense to her, even as a kid, a bit like me, but I didn't understand why. She's a smarter lady than I am. She, she had a, a bit of knowledge and whatever, so she's a clever, she's a clever lady. Very smart. Science and stuff like that. Me, I'm not. I'm just an average boring old bastard. So. But um, she had this feeling earlier on, and she knew reasons why. That's it, so. there's, there's a few others out there that have, have gone down that path, and by watching and listening and and realising that you're not on your own when it comes to not believing. And uh, I just think it's great. I feel like I feel awful. You might think it's weird because my girlfriend died of cancer, right? But not once, not once while she was dying could I sit there and go, please God fucking help because it wouldn't work and it doesn't make sense. Rips your heart inside when you when somebody who's um, who you love so dearly and being snatched away by this awful, horrible disease. It really does. But there's no deity out there that's going to fucking rescue that person once they're in that sort of distress. It's, it's done. You, it's not going to work. So of course, I spent as many fucking minutes as I could do that, all the way through it. And 
to the last couple of hours of my life, to be honest with you. Yeah. Anyway. But I didn't, still didn't believe. Still had no inkling of going, you know, God this, God that, Jesus this, and Jesus this. Didn't even cross my mind. Because I knew full well that if you've got nothing to do with it, you know, I mean, cancer's cancer. A lot of people say that, you know, it's to do with your diet, this, that, and the other, and unless you're lucky enough to catch it early. Right? I mean, that's where the mistake was made with my girlfriend. Another subject. As it comes, um, as we come to our conclusion of all this, I haven't rambled on and repeated myself for half a dozen times. <coughs> when it comes to religion, I find that there's no point. Pointless, because it achieves nothing. All it does is wastes time and causes a lot of harm and a lot of death. It's the fucking reason between countries fighting on each other's land. It's a reason for uh, people to be murdered. It's a reason for uh, persecution. And it, it, to me, I, I can't see that being a good thing. Realistically, I can't see it being. <coughs> the idea that religion was used as a tool to control people. You're only going to do a bit of research on the internet and you'll see that most of the people who were deemed as either some sort of bishop, deacon or whatever they, that these top religious people are called, they had all the control, they had all the power. Right? And all of the, the, the um, peasants, and what have you, or the, the lower life people, if you like, they just took what they said as gospel because they had no clue other than that. And they was trapped in that situation for years, centuries even. But now that um, technology helps, it gives us freedom of information. We can uh, use our own minds and um, able to come to our own conclusions. Think for ourselves. That's the, one of the key points. Of it all. It's to think for yourself. If um, you're told something out of the book and it's supposed to be worshipped in the truth, but it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. How can you take that as the truth? If I told you that black was actually white and I was a deity, would you fucking believe me? So you look at that and you go, hang on, that's black. You're telling me that's white. Hmm, really? Are you sure? My brain won't let me go there. So you make your own choice and get out of the So, there you go. So as as a religion, whether it be whatever, realistically for me, I find it pointless. I really do. Pointless. It causes far too much heartache, far too much sorrow, and in all fairness, it doesn't actually achieve anything. But again, for me, that's all my opinion. It's not Anybody else is stuff to do with um, whatever you have. Uh, you can have your own conclusion. I've been brave enough talking about this anyway because I know it's a tricky subject to a lot of people out there. Um, you choose. You can either like this or you can hate it. I don't mind which. Because as far as I'm concerned, I just don't believe makes no sense. It's just <laughs> Sorry to all you religious people out there, but as far as I'm concerned, you're fucking deluded. But I do apologise if I've repeated myself and I've gone on and 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 on. But, uh, yeah, I'm going. I've had enough now, I'm exhausted. <laughs> You know, when you first get yourself sorted in the morning and you 
like you've seen many of my videos I'm out looking for my trailer <laughs> What do you think of that one? <laughs> oh dear. That is what you call a bridge introduction, that is. It's like trailer, bridge, bridge, trailer. Yeah. I'm imagining that the bridge that that guy decided to go under was not a 15 foot fucking one. Judging by that, I would say it was more of a. 14 foot 9, possibly a 14 foot 6. Not good. What a complete fucking drongo. Why on earth would you want to go and do that? I wasn't going to put my camera on that early this morning. I'm not going to get myself ready for it. Fuck me, that's just. No, I don't know. I just don't get it. I really don't. I say I'm looking for me fucking trout and I can't find this fucking thing. Where the fuck's that gone? It's going to be around here somewhere. I don't know. I fucking don't know. I'm looking for it. <laughs> but it's not here. Fuck. Unless it's down that side there, possibly. It's got a chance. Let's go have a look. I love wasting drive time on it. Fucking drive and fuck out of drive. It's great. Is it down here? Ah, there we go. Hold well on. Fuck's sake. Here we go. Ooh, just a little bit, just a teachy bit too low. Let me just uh, grab the wand. The wand. Shut up, bleeping you stupid fucking truck. As the axle rises higher and the fifth wheel makes contact with the kingpin plate. It's also very exciting. And I'm back. I have no idea what I'm fucking giving. According to it, I'm going to Dunstan. Which I know is a Newcastle area. But where in Newcastle? I have no fucking idea. Ah. Federation Business Park. I'm going to have to get the twat nav out. The twat nav. Well, once I've figured out where I'm going, we'll be okay. We'll be sorted. Just a chair bit. Get all comfy and all that stuff. <laughs> Got a bit of a treat today. I figured that. Uh, being as I bought myself a little gadget, I will show you my little gadget. Get your mind at the gutter. So, bear with me while I punch a couple of numbers in. Okay. Where are you? Show me, show me. Where's the egg one? Ooh, hang on. Follow. Crap. I'll get it all set up now, then later I can put it on when I get closer. At least I've got no idea where I'm going now, anyway, that's the main thing. I'll put that out there for a sec. <clears throat> Did you lock the bridge truck this morning? I don't know whether it's me or not, but... It absolutely dumbfounds me that lorry drivers with... shed loads of... Um, shed loads of experience, years of experience, still clobber bridges. I oh, know. Weird, isn't it? And that's a prime example. 
Now, I know that I shouldn't say it, but it wouldn't surprise me if he's a fucking agency driver. It wouldn't surprise me if it's one of our drivers either, to be fair, but there you go. This is the boring bit, by the way. I do apologise. I really should get all this done first before I put the camera on, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, fuck it. <clears throat> what do you think the video suite's for? For fucking cutting this bit out. What? I understand that allowances under the mobile allowance scheme are paid as a contribution towards food and drink expensive by signing below I confirm that I have incurred a qualifying expense in this respect. Eh? That's different. I'll do that later. I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what it means. Oh, this is boring, isn't it? Fuck me, Christ, this is boring. It says I'm going to Dunstan, but I'm putting Newcastle down because that's pretty much where it fucking is. That's it, we're done. Right then, like I said to you, bit of a treat. I might as well turn that off before the battery was dead. So I don't need it just yet. At least it knows what I'm doing. Right, I'm there for now. The treat that I've, uh, I'll tell you what, hang on. Whee! <laughs> right, okay. Being as though we are ready to rock and roll, ready to rock and roll. Shove you down there the road. more comfy and stuff. Got to be comfy with the fucking four hour plus drive I've got to do. Ten to five, get there about nine-ish, all in about. This is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> Old school tape player. Come on, when you was a kid, you used to record shit, didn't you? Well, no, I did. I mean, obviously, most people these days would tape player. What the fuck's a tape player? What's tape? That's tape. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought what I'd do, because I've got sheep loads of old tapes, I uh, decided to uh, have a read through, but I never got round to doing a lot of them. I did what I wanted to do, um, which was find an old demo tape. Um, of a group that uh, don't want that. that once existed back in the nineties for about fucking five minutes. But they did they did a demo and recorded three tracks onto a tape, <coughs> and I liked it. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't fucking. You know, fantastic, but it was all right. Like, you know, I, mean, I enjoyed them. The rock group called Alibi, and uh, shortly after doing these tapes, they um, they broke up. Well, I've got the the tape box. They've got the cover, and I've also got the, the thing signed by each band member. We all did the ones who had the who bought the tape. And the uh, rolls open and then obviously carry on but they never did. And uh, so what I use that for, because it's one of those uh, tapes to USB so you can record it on your PC. And I've now got them on my phone. I'll show you. So that's that's Alibi. You can't see it very well because it doesn't uh, scroll down but normally the, the picture scrolls but so I can take it and uh, scanned the cover, <coughs> recorded it using a Wi-Fi recorder on the PC, converted it to MP4, as you put a program called MP3 tag, 
which allowed me to tag the uh, each track, tagging the uh, each track with the cover. So there you've got the cover in there. It's quite good. MP3 tag. There you go now. Off we go, let's go, little <coughs> So what I should be doing on the way up the road is uh, listening to my uh, tapes. And uh, I'm hoping, however unlikely it is, that I will find there's um, a tape that I've been looking for, well, say I'm looking for, that, that I'll give up after a bit, whatever. There's a tape I was after years ago when I did my own music on it, well, I misplaced it or lost it or done something with it or just disappeared. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. But I will try and find it. Because it's, uh, oh, I like to think that's quite cool. <laughs> yeah. I've got a bag full of tapes. I've got four and a half hours to fucking drive up the road. So, I've got fun in front of me, haven't I? Yes, loads of fun. <laughs> Ah, wonderful! Oh, before I forget, um, PS3. Let's move that. PS3. Um, there's a game called The Walking Dead. Now, I bought the season pass um, for season one. <laughs> And um, they have now uh, released season two, episode one. So we're back with Clementine, which I did it yesterday. I completed the first episode, uh, the first um, instalment, if you like. Just waiting now for the next one to, to come along so I can download that because I've already bought the season pass of that. So <clears throat> the game, The Walking Dead, for PlayStation 3, is back. I do like that. Little Clementine, she's gone through the war she has on that bloody episode already. Good God, she has. Uh, so, if you're into that sort of thing, I seriously suggest you go and uh, download it because it is fun. I'll go it anyway. Uh, thumbs up from me, as you do. Oh. Anyway. I've finished rabbiting on them. I've got football out soon. Besides, I want to play my tapes. I want to fucking have listen to me old music. So I'm going to go now. Bye. Good day, people. La. I'm having a fucking wonderful day trying to deliver to this fucking place that I've got to do, which is in a high street. Let's go have a walk. Right, let's go have a walk, shall we? Let's show you where I've got to try and deliver to, if I can find me. Because uh, at the moment, it's kind of been fucking fun with this shit, so. Here's the street. Where's he fucking getting there? Where's he getting there? I'm blocking the road off! Yay! Blocking the road off. Let's have a walk about you, shall we? <laughs> this is the street I've got to try and get a fucking Arctic down. It's called Matt Ram Street, and uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I ain't gonna get a fucking Arctic down here because it'll get in, but it's getting back fucking out. That's where the fucking fun comes about. Right. Didn't do a video this morning because I didn't have time. Fucking too busy faffing and fucking boat. As you do, you know what I mean? And then the fucking phone's lost connection because I've left it in the truck. And Neil's gonna be talking to himself. <laughs> Never mind, these things happen. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Let's gonna have a look, shall we? Firehouse wasn't fire there. Oh, here we go. Right, I'll say goodbye for a second, I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, we've uh, come to a conclusion that this is not going to fucking work. 
So I'm going to, uh, <coughs> he said he's going to bring the van down. So if he brings the van down, we might be able to off it at the back of the van. Yeah. And that's the end of it then, the end of the day. Fucking done. We fucked. So, it's a bit of a tight squeeze down here, I think. The end of the day. You'll have to do that, right? So, there you go. Just a little bit of room for you. Speak to you later. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> After having a good route in my bag, I've finally found my monopod. So I can carry my camera in a bit better. <coughs> um, that's where I've got to go. Oh, there's one of the lawyers there dropping off a cherry picker. Uh, that block of flats up there. So I'm going to jump at the camera. I'm going to have a walk over. And uh, that way, we can get things on the fucking road, moving. Oh, that'd be close. I was in here. You see my nostrils, didn't you then? Back. Oh well, let's go and have a play. Let's go and see what's what. If you found anything or not. Take your phone with me. Because you've got to take your phone with me. Let's go for a walk. Take some footage of the year. Uh, <coughs> what a block of flats I'm delivering to on this fucking pine speed or not. There you go. High street. Block of flats. Zoom into it. Hmm. That's pretty much where I gotta go. There's a compound, I imagine. There's all over there. I see we have these fucking fun days, don't we, when we're these driving. High street. Lorry. Yeah, some of the shit man took today. Look at that. Off again. <laughs> Those people look at you strange. Because you've got a camera in your hand. Are you talking to yourself? Shhh. Right at the top. Mm. Not bad, that. Just got to find a way into this fuck out of here. I'm getting there. It's any problem. There's obviously got to be a compound entrance somewhere. A site office, as I call it. It's, uh, it's not down here anyway, so let's go have a walk over here. Might be over back. <coughs> Fucking pigeons are having fun now. Fucking hell. <laughs> Hence the monopod. The monopod makes it easy to handle the camera because it looks like you're fucking standing next to me, doesn't it? I mean, just walking next to me. <laughs> I mean, I look like a cock. Don't get me wrong, but anyways. Do you want to be a star on my YouTube channel? Because you can if you want. <laughs> oh, well, let's go and find the compound site and I'll have another word with you later. Speak to you in a bit. Okay. It turns out, believe it or not, it's a fucking wrong place. I love, I love these fuck eye building places, I do. They have no directions, the postcodes are always wrong, they're never fucking right. So you end up in the wrong place, every time. I have such a fucking arse, I'll have a job. And then obviously I've got, you know, I'm trying to find another block of flats now, but where? It's the only fucker that's fucking being retrofitted, never mind. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place as usual, fuck! Never mind. See, if I use my, uh, my monopod, I can always do a bit of bit of stunt bit of stunt work as they say. <laughs> stunt work with a monopod. Do, 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 do. <sighs> what? You're only really crapping at it. You know, it's like uh, what? What 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 what? Now I'm in uh, Manchester now. That's the last place oh, I'm in Manchester. I'm just uh, waiting for a guy to come round and, uh, and say, yes, I'll come and take you to the base, because I've just told him where I am. And uh, he's, he says, I know where you are. He says, I'm going to fucking do it that way. So, and, uh, I'm <laughs> Found the place I'm at. So I'm just videoing. Yeah, go on. Yeah. 
How is that? That's cool. <laughs> we haven't handballed this shit, unfortunately, because they wouldn't get us a Moffat, a Moffat uh, truck to take it off, so this is where we're having to unload all of you. Just a stupid friggin' house in the state. And you've got three blokes taking this lot off here. I'm not going to do this. I can't be fucking arsed. It's not my fucking, not my choice. It's too dangerous for me. So there you go. A bit of footage for that. Just take that. <laughs> I'm just doing a bit of bit of footage for the. Uh, this is after three hours away. This is the ridiculous point eight where we got a friggin' handball all this shit off the back of a trailer. Uh, Don't put my. Make sure you black my face out. I can if you want. Yeah, no, there's a lot of women I don't want to know where I fucking live anymore. That's fine, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we managed to uh, get it all sorted. I've got my glasses on. I was playing my game. And uh, I am now here at my collection, which is. Uh, Rides in Middleton. Hey. Have a bit of a scoot around. Can't really see a fat lot, mind you, but that's pretty much it. Right, let me just do another bit of a, a tweak of that because I'm not quite happy with that. Is. I think. Looks like it seems to be like not quite, you know, whatever. I feel like it's, it's cutting my head off. I don't know why, it just annoys. Come on, you fucking thing. Oh, that'll do, bollocks. I'm fucking sick of having this. Right, yes, my day has gone pretty much wank, and now I'm here ending the day off. Because it's um, about two hours back from here once I'm loaded, so I can get on with my day. It means I'm going to be finishing late though, because it's. Was it five o'clock now? Something like that. Yeah, it's five o'clock now, so and it's still halfway through loading the trailer. I have to wait. Be patient, as they say. When you're tired, hungry, patience is the last thing you're thinking about. But hey, whatever. Never mind. There's not a lot I can do about it. At least they are loud, you mean I'm not being fucking dicked about. Mm. <sighs> oh man. Here we go, there's another one. Another pallet. Yay! <laughs> Bit of the old bass, eh? The simple one that I, that I like to do, which I've been trying, and I'll get my tongue all twisted up, is just as simple as this. I'll keep trying, keep practicing. I can't think of anything else. I'm too tired to think. <laughs> Just making stupid noises now, aren't I? Blah, 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 blah. 
Oh, well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. I'm bored now. My brain's fucking. Yeah. I'm just doing something stupid. <laughs> Oh, he's such a light out. 